Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. Thank you for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Mazi, it has been an interesting week. In fact, in the history of funny videos in Kenya, we've never had a video that describes almost every situation in Kenya like this one. Hey, Mazi, uwe jamaa ameunga na nikoshua si jim nisembi. No pun intended. This video can fit in almost every context. Kwanza kuna yu mahita zo meka ati mtu wakijaribu kukutumia pesa kwa simu yako na ukona hile deni. Ati wakijaribu kupika simu kwa mata po mudhuru wa umefungu wa dirisha. Ati halo! Unaonea halo yako on the other side. Ati BBI ndi yu mepita parliament, mepita senate, inaiva for referendum, five judge bench. Every context mazi. Kwane muna fikiri ya hii picha, haters wanaita null na ndugu yake void ilitoka wapi. Iko na context mob ati sai ukijadi ukidhubutu kukuwa na dem super na hauna pesa ma sponsor ati ukiangukia ka pesa mali ati sasa umeamua unataka kufungua ka biashara uomoke KRA eh manzi haters would also argue that only weed can make a man eat this much or have that much fun with food and talking about weed in our previous episode, I promised to set something up concerning the weed legalization debate from a low perspective. The conversation has been picking pace lately. In fact, we picked an interest in doing a show on the legalization of bang in Kenya when we saw the Nakuru CBO story where the chairman said this while pleading with police officers not to uproot their weed. I'm just asking, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ask. After, 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 Sasa tuseme semekane ilikuwa we are we are legal yeah. sasa itatutarudisha aje. Sasa <laughs> yeah, ni swali nzuri sana. Police working wa bangi alafu iku legalize the next week. Alafu does it mean that serikali iko na deni yako ya bangi ama you are just caught a week too early? Hati afade msingoe si, si agarau mkuja after hii senate ya Tuesday. Tuone vile wameamua na hii mambo ya mabobo. Bobo shante. Ama mtanirudishia 15 million. Now, this question by Ganja Farmer also prompted me to ask, if Kenya legalizes marijuana, what happens to all those who have been arrested before? Do they get released? To help us answer these and many other questions, we have two gentlemen, both of them lawyers. One of them is in the entertainment industry as a podcaster and a radio presenter. Konshi Z is in the house. His learned friend, also in studio, is part of the team that defended the young girl who had been sent away from school for rocking deadlock, dreadlocks on religious grounds. Mnakumbuka your story? Innocent Makaka is in the house. Hapo sawa mazi. We'll be talking to them in a bit. But first, this week, the Competition Authority of Kenya has ordered bakers to disclose full information to consumers after claims that some bread manufacturers have been giving Kenyans a raw deal in terms of weight and quality of the commodity. If manufacturers comply, this will make CAK the literal breadwinners in Kenya. Now, for those wondering how they knew, what is that two CAK officials wanted to divide a loaf of bread between themselves? Wakapatani 17 slices. So they decided to split it by weight. Kupima, wakapata kumbe hao ndi wamepimwa. So for fair distribution, waka decide kuyeka kwa meza wanganganie. And that was not fair competition, and that's how the authority came in. Now, this uneven size of bread is the reason behind this phenomenon in all Kenyan high schools. It's a matter that needs to be looked into. Thank you, CAK. In other news, President Uhuru Kenyatta this week advised parents to stop pressuring children with academic performance because it could be the leading cause of depression. Jameni, let us work together and arm our children with the skills and nurture the talents that God has given them as opposed to imposing on them <laughs> what we think they should be. Sasa kama mutu, amebarikiwa kuwa carpenter ambaye ndio atakuwa mjenzi wa manyumba kubwa kubwa Kenya hii kwa nini we mzazi umlazimishe ati wewe utakuwa daktari na huyu mtoto hata akiona site ya damu ya, ya mbuzi anasirai <laughs> lakini wewe unamwambia wewe utakuwa daktari now from that speech Kenyans have learned how to tell if your child will be a doctor hata damu ya mbuzi akiona yeye ana faint too there you have it. Kapla nilipe school fees. Samson, Jablon, na Judas. Mufaye nguwa nataku wapeleka out kia maiko. Nataku kujua kama kuna takitari yata mmoja katienu. Ama hiyo pesa ni ufungulia tumitumba direct. It can work. 
as a parent ukitaka kujua kama mtoto wako ni daktari unatembea na kichwa ya mbuzi ukipata anafanya homework mha akifaint naambia muka uende ucheze na watoto wengine huko nje taka kukulia watu hapa masana parts of a grasshopper Now for the legal insights on the legalization of marijuana in Kenya najua mtu anaweza jiuliza kwani tumeamwaje na watu kwa issue tumewapatia mira last week leo tunawapea bangi point of correction on mira we focused on transport hapa kwa bangi what if it were legalized it's a matter of national interest alafu kuna watu wa bangi wali jam juu ya vitu mbili tatu nilisema on in, in our previous episode Stay tuned for the other side of the story. Our guests Innocent Makaka and Konshizi, both lawyers with interesting vibes on this topic, are joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you guys in a bit. Hi, I'm Dr. Kingori. There's something I'd really love to show you around this place. this your home with from as low as 4.5 million Kenya shillings i don't even need to mention it for more information about this property please visit www.ambavillasmalindi.com or use the contact details on your screen or click the link in the description below Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori Maze conversation here with Mnajua Mali Mefika. Every time it keeps changing. Rastafarians have gone to court to petition for the legalization of weed for uses zenye mumeona including kuoganayo. Leo tuko na guests wenye wako I believe very qualified to have this conversation because both of them are lawyers na wote ni good vibes. Mnajua mimi nikiwambianga ina kuanga guarantee. One of them is a podcaster, tena a lawyer. Konshizi is in the house. Yeah, thank you for having me. Karibu yeah. sana. Mm-hmm. Eh, alafu na yeye pia ni Innocent Makaka, lawyer moja alikuwa part of the team that represented ule dem fulani mnakumbuka story yake kwa news alikuwa inasemekana amechujua shule kwa sababu ya dreadlocks na uh, religion yake ni Rastafari. So leo mazee tunaongea kazi, tunaongea mambo ya bangi uh, but si tunaongea ba, mambo ya bangi na tunaongea na suti na in fact tuko na maji pia on set na wale wanasema nga bangi endangi na maji innocent makaka karibu sana thanks for having me daktari <laughs> eh sawa junyini lawyers najua you know how to protect yourself and how to be careful so in that case i believe the best place to start this conversation ni eh, mumai yonja ata for research purposes <laughs> I, i don't think uh, it's in anyone's best interest to to disclose that Thank you watu wa bangi um, you know what that means wewe umeonja hii nasema daktari leo leo tuna represent sheria exactly yeah. nasema yeah. uh, no i'm, I'm wezi ongelea yeah, yeah. hiyo petition pia <laughs> sasa na mnajuaje ni nzuri kama mjaonja kama mna represent because we've been practical about the whole uh, discussion because uh, it's a fast rising discussion and it's gaining a lot of attention yes um, there's a famous quote by victor hugo he said you can't block an idea whose time has come so ah. i feel it's time we have this conversation and uh, try to see uh, the pros and cons of how we can you know have this uh, product de- okay. decriminalized okay. you know for maybe medicinal use recreational use industrial so it's a much needed conversation i feel we should okay. have it and i commend you for actually having it right now <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold move As- asante yeah. sana i hope mama yangu atafikiria nimeanza kuvuta innocent yes. uh, from a lawyer's perspective yes. if bang was be legalized today kila mtu ameshikwa mm. ataachiliwa uh, daktari kuna kutakuwa na some procedures because uh, kama ulishikwa uh, hapo awali before your bangi ku legalized yes inamaanisha bado ilikuwa against the law and you are properly incarcerated but kitu yenye inaweza fanyika ni for example if this petition ikuwe na merit and uh, the section that was criminalizing marijuana is declared unconstitutional yes kutakuwa na petitions mingi sana ya wale wenye wamefungwa na wanaona hao ni rastafari wamekuwa discriminated against mm-hmm. wanaweza kuja now for review of their sentences because watasema now basing on the new position of the law kindly review 
our sentences. So it was an individual effort. It's like now doing a case again. Mm. So mm. the court has to interrogate the merits of the case too, so that we angalia, hey, maybe it was excessive, either we reduce, ama uachiliwe. Lazima kukwe na yo process ya kwanza, kukuja kureview zile judgment, na lazima kukwe na merits na grounds za kwenyesha nyewe, I was Rastafari, na kuna hii judgment imesema, if you are Rastafari, you should be not be discriminated against the sacrament that you partake as a Rastafari. So no situation yeah. like ati kamiti, ati, ah, watu wabangi muende nyumbani na musirudie ah, tena. Ah, apana, sio raisi rai ivo, sio yeah. raisi ivo, sheria ni process, na kuireverse lazima pia take the same process. Another headache maybe the government might face is how do they regulate the, uh, the, the use of marijuana, uh, the production, you know, how do they also regulate how the, the growers and the producers, you know, uh, go about the business. So there's so many headaches. Mm -hmm. And that's why maybe the government or maybe governments are so hesitant in coming out clearly and saying we need to decriminalize marijuana. I like I yeah. like the use of the word headaches in mm -hmm. your explanation. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting uh, that the government there are people who would suffer inside because our government is sick enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We credit weed to the Rastafari, Rastafari culture, sana sana, right? Sindio? Yes. And uh, before we got on set, you mentioned that even in Jamaica, where which uh, the, a country which can be credited as the cradle of Rastafari culture. Yes, yes. Weed was re decriminalized yeah, just, just recently in 2015. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, very right? true. Very mm -hmm. true. And um, that is the misconception that many people believe that weed has ever been legal in Jamaica. That wasn't the position. Yeah, it's just the culture. And I think, uh, as what my colleague is just uh, saying, it, it reached a point that uh, you have to have real conversations. Because people are smoking this thing more than cigarettes, yet it's illegal. In fact, Africa, East Africa, yeah. Yeah. Number, number yeah, one. Kenya is number two after number two. Tanzania. Yeah. After Tanzania. About 3.3 yeah. people consume yeah. the product. So if they are consuming that much... They weed more than us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Statistics. Yeah. It was a, a lobby group in the UK that did that research. Yeah. They put Tanzania as number one, Kenya is number two, followed by Uganda. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah the stats are, you know, are crazy. They show how much this product is consumed. Hey, but see, yes. the, eff the effect on them yeah. is very different. <laughs> it may affect two kizum, we are okay. I wouldn't put um, Tanzania before Kenya uh, in the weed smoking chart. I, I know. Two million Kenyans smoke weed. Uh, actually, the stats indicated three point something. Three point three? Three, three point, point something million Kenyans three smoke three. weed. Three mm -hmm. point something million. Yes. So hapa inje tunatembea na watu unafaa kuwa committee yes by the constitution right now. Arguably. <laughs> yes. Because ideally, yes. Yeah. from a lawyer's perspective, mm -hmm. what ukishikwa na bangi. Yeah, it's a, it's a criminal offense. It's a criminal offense. Yes. What are the charges? Uh, yes, okay, okay, let me, let me take you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ukishikwa na yo, for example, um, kuna possession, na kuna possession? trafficking. Trafficking, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. When, when, when it is certified that this is possession and you certify the court that this is for personal use, yes. the act prescribes 10 years. 10 years mm -hmm. for puff, puff, pass, moja. Yes, but there is discretion, right? Uh -huh. the, judge. It, yeah, the, 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 the magistrate has mm -hmm. discretion to at least uh, look at the circumstances surrounding and the volume of uh, the product that you've been found in, but it's 10 years. And if it's not for personal consumption, if you cannot prove to court that it's not for personal consumption, the act prescribes 20 years. Mm -hmm. And if it's trafficking, the act prescribes life imprisonment or a fine of one million. If it's not for? If it's trafficking. If it's trafficking. Yeah, for example, it's, it's in transit or you're caught with numerous amounts, that is now trafficking. So that one, the act prescribes life imprisonment or a fine of one million or both. You remember uh, there was a recent case in Mombasa when a gentleman who was caught with less than 200 joints of, of marijuana was sentenced to, 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 to life. It, it, yeah, there, there was uproar. But that is what the act says. Because they were like, in, in Mombasa, this thing is so rampant. Drug abuse is rampant. So they had to give the maximum. So that is the maximum when you're trafficking. Actually, I think the accused pleaded guilty for trafficking. So 200 rolls, CNG Semanizake Mpaka November, one daily. <laughs> Yeah, but I think gave him November, life imprisonment. Yeah. Yeah. 200 days, when in how many months? <laughs> One per day. That's yes. not a defense. Yes. yes. That, that can't be a defense. You know, the, the, the law is a bit very harsh mm -hmm. currently as we, we, yeah. we speak. Bang is not specific to Rastafari. 
si ndio yes so ukishikwa nayo if it's legalized for rastafari you have to prove that you are using it as a sacrament yes yeah. yes yes last year yes daktari and actually that's the difference uh between the bill and uh the bill that is uh before I, I i believe it's before parliament i don't know which position the 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 bill that was sponsored by the uh the deceased uh, mp ken mm. okotha yes the bill i think it's before parliament and the bill actually seeks to uh remove cannabis as a psychotropic or narcotic drug so for to, to that extent it means it will be legalized if the bill succeed even for recreational use hence now what uh, uh, my learned friend anajari buksema the challenges that the, the government may face trying to implement now the the position but the the petition before court uh, uh, which has been filed by my colleague uh, mm -hmm. uh, mr shadra kwambui that one is is specific to rastafari religion so what you're saying is right hiyo yao ni rastafari peke yake so uh, with them wanasema they're being discriminated against uh, conscience belief and opinion because the constitution guarantees such rights so uh, it is incumbent upon the state to make sure that no one is discriminated because the same constitution says that you shall not be discriminated against religion so rastafari i say this is our sacrament who are we to say this is not a sacrament that is the question Mm -hmm. that uh, i'm sure the courts will be dealing with okay. and another issue will be how will it be administered will will the rastafarian community within uh, its membership regulate it for example uh, will it be for specific people will you go through certain training before you you are allowed to partake mm -hmm. so those are the challenges that uh, has been facing this uh, issue I'm so glad that both of you are lawyers. Sasa yeah. wewe mm -hmm. um, ukisikia akisema Rastafari wamekuja court mm -hmm. wanaambia judge this is our sacrament. Legalize it. Yeah. So um ha, it's your sacrament. Mumekuwa mkiitumia. Yes. Um <laughs> let me just uh, me, uh, b before I answer that. Yes. Uh, it's not it's not a unique uh, discussion in Kenya because people think maybe uh, it's a discussion that's unique to us Kenyans. If you look at jurisdictions around Africa Uh, South Africa it's legal but for medical use and personal use yes. in Zambia Lesotho Zimbabwe and even next door Rwanda but for Rwanda it's unique because they uh, they they allowed for medical use just for export so it's still illegal to consume it in, in Rwanda but you can use they they allowed it for medical use just for export for medical use in Amanisha yeah, you, medical, you can only consume mm -hmm. it as tablets <laughs> <laughs> it can be developed as a drug. It can be used to be developed as a drug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it can become a drug that can now be or with inyonya tu atili ya kupiga kibeli tu. No. You have to go to a process. Yeah, prescribed. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be prescribed by the doctors. But, yeah. Even in Kenya, mm -hmm. there is a a license that you can get to do research on the mm -hmm. these drugs. Ah, wow. Yes, even in yeah. Kenya that's allowed even in the act, the mm -hmm. 1994 act. That's mm -hmm. what Uh, the Rastafari are seeking to 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 impeach the 1994 act. Afande, yes. yes, you can get but practically yeah. I don't know how it works but mm -hmm. in the reading of the law you can be given a license to either do research carry out research on because even carrying out research you know that is important set you could use ama kitu kama hiyo but just carrying out research so that what uh, my colleague is saying the international standards why are people as uh, bordering to this conversation so much currently yes. so it's important to, to to have that discussion okay. and the reality is that people are using it so much in Kenya and yes. other other african countries so we should ask ourselves why and uh, is it is it uh, something that we should consider probably amending the discussion should be expanded to we're not saying we don't have challenges in in uh, legalizing uh, the product yes. but we can't just ignore the conversation and not see what's happening around other jurisdictions like in Africa like we say South Africa Canada even in the USA like more than 17 18 states it's legal yes yes yes, yes and yes, it's yes. a booming business the uh, hip, hip hop icon Jay Z right now is in the business and Snoop it's a business worth over 200 billion dollars yes Snoop said I'll go and go come as you are going exactly <laughs> so and yes. we need to maybe see the benefits that accrue to it maybe these guys will pay taxes will create jobs maybe in these factories we'll have our uh, people get, who get employment you know the government will reap from that but like i said we need intense uh, research before we just make that move 
but we can't ignore that discussion. Okay. It's a much needed conversation. Thank you. In the likely event that uh, it, this petition goes through, what were Rastafari and Biwe? Sacrament. Equal. Yes. Do you Yes. Does it mean the rest of the population do you vote as him will lead ready? That's an interesting question, Dr. Uh, if this petition goes through, it means uh, the court will have declared Section 3, uh, which uh, criminalizes, criminalizes marijuana system. as yes. unconstitutional. Yes. Now, other, other players have to come in because uh, the judge can only declare the section as unconstitutional, but they cannot make law. They cannot amend the law or make the law. So it will be upon the National Assembly to, 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 to start the process of trying to, and the Law Reform Commission working together and all stakeholders, uh, trying to, try to marry the judgment to the reality in terms of policy and legal, legal framework. Um, and uh, with the, now the Rastafari, uh, the Rastafari uh, community, I'm, I'm told to believe that it's not all about uh, uh, dreadlocks, but I agree with, with the challenge of uh, after the judgment, if the judgment succeed, how will you tell that this is a Rasta? I agree with that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Because yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yes, because your petition is specifically for Rasta as a sacrament. Because ah, constitution yes. gives you the right to religion and worship and conscience, you know? And the Rasta, the Rasta profess, uh, who profess that religion, they take marijuana as a sacrament or as a you know? Then what stops me from coming up with my religion, mm -hmm. register it, alafu ni seme my sacrament is cocaine? <laughs> uh, good question, by the way. Uh, but when you go to, let's just, let me take you back some, some t when marijuana and cocaine and heroin were, were, uh, were listed as dangerous drugs. In the 1961 UN Convention, that's when they were listed as very dangerous drugs. And um, so it's clear in the laws, cocaine is a very dangerous drug, and marijuana uh, and heroin is dangerous. But recently, uh, who advised uh, the UN to delist marijuana from one of the most dangerous drugs? And it did that. Yes. Right now, marijuana is not in that list uh, alongside cocaine and um, heroin. So it shows you all indications are it's something gov governments and bodies like the UN um, um, are taking bold steps to decriminalize this product. So I feel like even our government here, it's a wake-up call. Let's not be hypocritical okay. and walk on eggshells and not, you know, not have this conversation because this product is being consumed widely. Yes. The underworld market is thriving, mm -hmm. but no one wants to be the person on the forefront. Where do people draw the confidence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, toying with 10 years. Mm -hmm. If 10 years, <laughs> where, 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 where do people get that confidence from? I feel like uh, the confidence maybe is coming from this product being widely consumed uh, by everyone. Like almost everyone is consuming this uh, product. So I feel like uh, the normal human being, the, the uh, Wanjiko, feels like I don't think it's 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 a wrong it's a wrong thing I'm doing right now. It's normalized. It's, yeah, because you find X you know? is smoking, Y is smoking, Z is smoking. Yeah. So that's why we say we need to have this conversation on a more uh, serious level, and but, but a sober conversation. We don't mm. want anyone to be Russian. feelings about it. Sober conversation yeah. on weed. No, on how <laughs> to regulate the product. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Uh, the more we don't have it, the more it's thriving underworld. Yes. Yeah. And people are making billions of money, millions of shillings in the mm. underworld. No, I think mm -hmm. based on this conversation, it yeah. is my submission mm -hmm. that weed is probably just smoke. Mm -hmm. The reaction people feel ni adrenaline. Budo na juu na zaku andani ten years. Nikichikwa na iki. No, for it. Yeah, it I, is my submission. I, I, actually, I've I've had some people say that what makes weed sweet, quotes in quotes, uh, yeah. is the, the idea the, the that aspect you could... that yeah, you may be caught and be sentenced to ten years, as you're saying. Mm -hmm. But imagine. Something with such hefty penalties, people are still using it. Mm -hmm. Now that is the question. Mm -hmm. Daktari, if you go to any street in our hoods, Ulizia to to a pobez. The paddy. Atakonyesha. Mm. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, to say me, yeah. kama wewe unajua, mm -hmm. kama mimi ni naeza jua, mm -hmm. ati I can go na ni ulize ni pate pedi, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, if the police decided to do a crackdown, yeah. watu three million wanaingia ndani. Even more. You know, these statistics are just... Uh, uh, they are not like entirely accurate. 
It's just that maybe uh, more. Yeah, survey. Mm. So, so it can be 10 million people. So some Kenyans are free because we don't have enough facilities. <laughs> 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 because we are a third world country. <laughs> 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 that too, because uh, even like earlier we were having that discussion with Innocent and say, uh, governments uh, around the world might have this uh, problem or maybe headache, like you said, of uh, how do we regulate the use, the production of this product if it becomes legal or decriminalized. Because uh, we are faced with a situation where it will be so rampant and maybe the government might be unable to regulate the whole uh, sale, production, and consumption. So I feel that's why maybe they're so hesitant, hesitant in, um, in, in maybe, you know, decriminalizing the product. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Innocent Makaka is a um, professional mediator and also a practicing advocate. Akikuja hapa si ati yeni reverend wa mabangi ya pana. He is a professional. Eh, hey, manzi. Asante sana kwa kugrisho. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tari, for having me. Eh, hey, manzi. Alafu pia uh, in studio tukona Konshizi. Konshizi ali expose shamba yangu in a way that I don't think I'll move on in the near, near times as in, in in the near future. Kwa sababu, Konshizi runs a podcast in itua uh, Konshizi podcast on YouTube. Alafu handle yake, eh, ni kamuniza, ah, ni mekuwa na yangalia, in itua Confidentone. Alafu, <laughs> akalenga, akalenga, akalenga sana, humbia, hey, Confidentone. So, mi ni mengara hapa vile nisha angalia podcast, na juwa hey, ni Confidentone. Alafu, waka ingia bismuth, waka nambia, ah, ni Confident One. Oh, no. <laughs> Asante ni sana kwa kukam show. Thank Mazin. you. Thank Asante you. karibu na karibu tena. Yeah. That's it for the weekend edition. Um, Dr. Kingori, see you next week. Same time, same place.